here are some rare Betamax titles, and I'm a collector, and well, in the Chicago area, they are tricky to find, and I brought them in to show. Here's a an old man magnetic videotape with <laughs> Colonel Knowledge, with Jack Nicholson, Ken Bergen, Arthur Garfunkel, and Margaret, and Rita Morano. This is a magnetic videotape, and it said it was, um, uh, like, this is from 1978. Here's the side of uh, the tape. Here's the, the top. Uh, wait, here's the top. Oh wait, uh, yeah. It's the top. And it's the back. It says some of the other, other line, uh, uh, no, some of the other fine video programs available are, you know, like some other titles, and this was released in 1978. This is a magnetic videotape, and when they were recorded at 2344, uh, uh, Industrial Park Court in Farmington Hills, Michigan, and um, gotta take, I gotta take this tape out. God, how do I shake this? It's a really difficult to get out, and um, I gotta open this up. Here's a big box of um, Over the Edge. Starring Harry Northrup and Andy Romano. Here's the side. I'll get him with this. Here's the side. Here's the top. Right, no, here's the top. The bottom. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'll show this. And here's the back. They're just kids, but they are about to explode. This is rated PG. When you open this up, you got the cast list. This film 1980, reputation 1981. And here's the tape. And the end label. That's a difficult one to find. And, um... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of these stars are pretty tricky to find. Oh yeah, I got the tape out for Carnal Knowledge. And here's the tape. And here's the end label. It's a 20th Century Fox video big box tape of Patton. This is part one. George, George C. Scott and Carl Malden. Here's the side. This is in stereo. 
Here's the top. Here's the bottom. So you actually have the, the top. And here's the back. Spectacular World War II adventure of, a, of an aggressive U.S. general. This is rated PG, and the running time for the film is 171 minutes. This is part one of the part one of the film, and this is from 1982. They were headquartered at Industrial Park Drive in Farmington Hills, and when when Magnetic Radio was headquartered around like 1979 or 1980. Um, And, um, here's the tape. And here's the end label. This is a difficult one to get out. Yeah. Hard to close this and hard to get out. That's not enough. Here's a rare tape from 19, 1984 called Money Hunt from Carl Home Video. It cost $30 at the time. Hosted by John Hillerman. Here's the side. Here's the other side. Here's the top. And here's the back. And this is a 1984 tie. The contest rules and the eligibility. Here's the tape. This was uh, before I was formed to call Walmart Home Video and and just Walmart Home Video. Yeah, a half hour of this runs. Of course. Gator with Burt Reynolds. This film's from 1976. Forgot to mention, like, Patton from 1970. This is a 1983 release, and here is what the top uh, looks like. It will look exactly like on the bottom. Where's the back? However, in convention with, with a fun-loving moonshiner, Gaylon McCluskey. And this is a 1983 tape. Here for tape. And um here's the end label for Gator. Again another big box. Midnight Cowboy. This is an MGM big box with Brenda Vicar of the I have Brenda Vaccaro and uh, John McGiver. Here's the side. The top. Of Midnight Cowboy. Oh yeah, this is a damaged one. And here's the back. One of the be 50 best films of all time since the American Film Institute survey. Uh, this one is from, uh, yeah, this one is from A3, I believe. Okay, let me check. But, um, here's the cast list for Midnight Cowboy. Uh, yeah, it's 1983. Film from 1969. This is rated R and running time is 113 minutes. 
And here's the tape. Ah, yeah, this is kind of damaged. And here's the MGM TBS Home Video seal, which you could barely see it by the hologram. Okay. Victor Victoria. This is uh, directed by the late Blake Edwards, who directed the Pink Panther films. So I have the first one, VHS, and he was for back. The Don't Make Movie of the Year since the New York Times. This is from 1982. The PG, and uh, this stars Julia Andrews, James Garner, and Robert Preston. And um, here's the cast list for Victor Victoria. Film from 1982, so as well as the tape from that year, 1982. 133 minutes, that's how long the film runs. And here's the tape. And an MGM CBS home video seal as well. What's the print date on this tape? February 14th, 1983. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention both of these tapes have the MGM tray. Mm. Here's another uh, big box from 20th Century Fox video. The end, also with Burt Reynolds. <laughs> and the start of this tape includes the CBS Fox video logo instead of a 20th Century Fox video logo. That's because 20th Century Fox video was um, closed in 1982 due to, uh, to make to form CBS Fox video, and the logo started appearing on some 20th Century Fox video tapes at the time as well. An outrageous comedy starring Burt Reynolds. What the back says, this is rated R. Film from 1978. This is a rare big box. Here's the tape, looks like. Yeah, we started using this style. Here's the end label. And the running time for this film is... 100 minutes. Here's the Warner Home Video Big Box. Meteor. Yeah, this is a little bit damaged because, yeah, this was, yeah, this is a damaged tape. Here's the side. Yeah, here's the top, and the same thing will look on the bottom. Here's the back. A visitor from space and catastrophe on Earth. This is rated PG. And yeah, this is a really damaged big box. Running time is 105 minutes. Film from 1979 by American International Pictures. Here's the tape with a different label. And here's the end label for Meteor. This water home video. Big boxes are really tricky to find. And um, I'm a collector and I find Yeah, these are tricky to find and I really find a lot of VHS tapes. So I have a lot more to go. Here's my last 20th Century Fox big box. The King and I in 1956, Roger and Hammond Musical. Uh, musical. 
And here's the side, which is very damaged and, um, yeah, part of it thing coming off. Here, so I'll, here's the top, and the bottom will look the same. Here's the back. Opulent musical remake of a Smash stage production. Film from 1956. <laughs> started watching this in school, and uh, we stopped. A little bit over the first 10 minutes of this movie, so that's why we uh, uh, stopped for this movie. The running time is 133 minutes, and yeah, this is another rare big box. I'm trying to find the VHS big box from 20th Century Fox video, and they're really tricky to find. And yeah, but here's the tip. Here for tape. Mm. And here's the end label for the king and I. Yeah, this is how 20th Century Fox video was packaged for tapes. Here's a clan show. Sequel, another sequel to Dirty Harry, got an impact, uh, uh, yeah, got an impact. With Clint Eastwood, and yeah, this is a rare clam shell. Here's the side. Running time is 117 minutes. And here's the back. Two killers are at large. One of them is Dirty Harry. From 1984. And here's the Warner Home Video engraving inside, which is a cool idea to, uh, to know it's a Warner Brothers release. Here's the tape. If we end label for got an impact. Baby Love. Another MGM big box. <laughs> Canon film movies. Oh yeah. You like Yafritz Kutner. And Jackie Noy and Jonathan Chagall. And here's the side. Here's the top. Here's the back. Baby Love. It's no kitty matter. Yeah, this is the unrated edition just like wasn't a, like a r-rated or pg-13 rated film when it first came out this is a 1985 release if it's a tape from night it's a film from 1983 and this is here's the tape oh yeah includes the original uh, tape, which is a PG-13 rated film. And here's the end label for Baby Wolf. But the box is like a, uh, uh, oh god, oh god. Here's the, uh, hologram. You saw in a lot of MGM tapes. Well, this is the, uh, well, the box says it's the unrated edition. This is the PC-13 rated version of this film. The World's Greatest Lover with Gene Wilder. Carol Kane and Dom DeLuise. This is a 1980 release. Here's the another side. Here's the top. Here's the back. Here's 
Yeah, this is a 1980 release. Here's the tape. Here's the end label. The film's from 1977, and this is a 1980 release on VHS. Um, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I have it on VHS. Yeah, a few VHS copies of this tape. Yeah, two of them. One of them I got from my grandma. Uh, uh, one of them, uh, which is killed in one of them, which I got from my grandparents' house. I have the same artwork as the VHS tape, but the label is different. Yeah, like this uh, doesn't have a uh, hologram. This might be a different copy. This might be a, a duplicate. No hologram on this one, but my other copy did have a hologram. The other one I got from a Goodwill store. It's so hard to find these Betamax tapes currently. I need to move this Bond collection set, move these TV remotes, and put them here. I have about like two more boxed titles and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, a few like, about a few more. Uh, here is Horror in Moscow. This is a 1986 tape. Uh, um, I'm gonna get these catalogs out of the way. Here's the side. Here's the top. Here's the back. For horror to Moscow, Bravo and Heroes, and for New York Times. This is kind of a rare program. And well, here's the um, the list of acts in this perform in the performance. In the concert, this is a 1986 tape. Running time is an hour and 51 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, but here's the tape. Yeah, a different tape on that matter, for that matter. And here's the end label. Yeah, for hologram. It is for Trey, like usual. And here are just the two catalog, the two catalogs. Yeah, was, uh, yeah, I showed this in the um, VHS Big Boss collection about last year or two years ago. And here's a different one. Yeah, this is a probably the exact same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, wait. Oh, I forgot this. There's, um, there was like, something else in this. Like, and I had for like, v Vomitor Horror, it's the last romantic. And, um, and here are some more titles in the catalog. Go through this catalog. If the back of this catalog like the other one. Yeah, yeah there's some uh, things on here which I'm not gonna even mention it. Oh yeah, breaking away is Oh, 
Oh yeah, like here. Oh, I got this one. But let me just put this back. Here's another magnetic video tape breaking away. A 1979 film. Here's the side. The other side. Here's the top. And here's the back. This is. Yeah, this is part of the same thing, but something else, like something different, was actually um. This is a 1980 tape when they were still, when they were headquartered in in the in industrial park, in Farmington Hill. And here's the tape. Oh yeah, the end wave is about like almost falling off. And the last one is, uh, in the box is uh, Notorious. Uh, yeah, the last one in, in the actual slipcover case. And the rest is um, showing titles without cases. This is an Alfred Hitchcock film from 1946. The tape is from 1987. And the VHS case. Here's the top, and here's the back. Hitchcock, classic of danger, desire, and deception. And this is when they were headquartered at 39,000 Seven Mile Road in Livonia, Michigan, 48152. So, Rare tape, and here's the and here's the tape. I'm gonna put these back, which basically means I have a lot more to go. Some more titles to show. They're all loose. Okay, I'm gonna take the tapes out of each. Here's Octopus. <laughs> For your eye only. A 20th Century Fox videotape from 1982. Blazing Shadows. Here's the end way ball for the tape. Yeah, this is another rare title. Goldfinger. Oh yeah. Okay. 